Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to Leading Our Own Way. We're up to part three of this week's episode of the show. We're diving even deeper into our conversation with this week's guest. Let's continue exploring their inspiring journey. If you've missed part one and two, definitely go back and catch up. Also, if you're not subscribing, please, please subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the show. See you soon. I'm setting the intention to connect to your crown. Now I'm starting to get information and I'm just going to say it's coming through and I'm going to start. It's wanting me to start on what I've already written down. So I'm getting like, firstly, I'm getting like real kind of shakes in my body, like, like the sense to want to shake, but you can't if that makes sense. It's like you want to like shape, like there's just this kind of energy that's just like fizzled up around the left side. Um, Now what I'm seeing is like, it looks like it's you younger, like a young version of you and you're wearing some sort of costume like a pirate costume. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're in a pirate costume. Oh, God. I see a moment to send me that picture. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> you... I knew you were going to say that. I just knew it. I fucking knew it. I just knew it. I mean, I know we could. I know kids could get up in a pirate costume, but my mum went crazy on this one, and I won it. And I was with my next door neighbour, Andrew Buckley, and we both dressed up as pirates. It was like, it was the big, like we had everything legit of this pirate costume as well. Oh my god, holy shit! When you said that, oh crap! Oh, my mum will freak out. She knows. She'll remember the day. Only my mum will know that one. But anyway, sorry. I don't know if I just ruined that, but I had to react. I'm sorry. Yeah. I channeled this before even now, so, like, sitting oh here. Oh, my Lord. Okay. I wish I could just message her now and just get her online to prove it. <laughs> she will see. She will see. Okay. <clears throat> Am I allowed to react like that? I don't want to disturb yeah. you. No, no, it actually, it's it it builds, tr- like, it builds my trust in it because I, I oh wrote you little boy, little boy in costume, and I straight away I was like, I'm getting pirate costume. And I'm just like. I want to mm. message her now. Yeah, I'd, do it. And then um, can I do it? Yeah, and then and then it was coming through so strongly. Like I saw, like I can see you. It's like basically what happens is, and I want to watch this back because I haven't actually seen myself when I channel, and my eyes feel like they flicker. So I want to see. They do. I, I did check it. They do. <laughs> no, they do. I looked and I was like, "Does she oh. know?" Because I feel like it, but I haven't seen it. It's because, like, I feel it's like all this light is coming through me. And it's like I see it's like this light, like spotlight comes on. And then it's like, it's like, like it comes in. And then I just see, I look, it's like I'm looking at you. It's this eye up here is literally opened and my eyes are closed, but I'm seeing like I see this way. And I saw you in your little pirate costume. <laughs> Oh my god! Do you, can I mean? Can you describe like what my? Uh, I suppose you could just say direct describe it as a pirate though. But there were some specifics. I've I've asked my mum. I've just messaged her now to see if she can bring oh. find that picture and send it to me right now. So I can. She's writing. My mum's writing. My mum's okay, writing. Okay, I want to see the picture because the thing is, what I recognise too is I can get images and describe it, but it's features. It might not be exactly it. But the thing yeah. is, I channeled to someone, um, and I channeled their whole grandparents farm even to the point that i was like i'm seeing a screen door opening shut opening and shut like and it won't shut and there's like a lantern um sign and she was just like yeah we they we've been telling them to try and fix that screen for so long and the there's the lantern sign right above it so i want to see the photos to know that well it's not on my phone obviously i would have to find Um, i'm just saying can you find now please um (laughs) i'm i'm actually Live recording as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> I know how good would it be to show as we speak. Oh my god, 
that's insane. I want to do a video call with her afterwards and like just show her. And then, they, if they, and then the mic will be able to hear what she's saying so I can kind of prove it because I don't want people to miss it. Can I call you now? Can I do that? <laughs> yeah. I've never, I would never thought of doing this, but it's just so freelance. Like, yeah, bring I'm just going to see if she answers. And then I, just in case you might get embarrassed, I won't show her the live. No. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> can you hear it calling? For, yeah, for a friend. Mum, I'm, I'm recording with Renee Marie. I'm just going to. Show you her. We're, we're live recording as we speak. She's in Sydney, Australia. Give her a wave. Hi, Carol. <laughs> she, you can't hear her. She's in my ear. But this is live recording. And she just bought, we, we've only just started, but she brought up, this is the one that brought up Jean and Pam, by the way. This is what? Who brought up Jean and Pam. I'm going to put you so near the mic so the mic can hear you. And she just said about the pirate costume. Do you remember when and me and Andrew Buckley? Have you? Can you find a picture of that? <laughs> she just brought it up. She just brought it. Up. Um, can, can, can you? Well, we're going to be filming for the next hour at least. Can you try and find it? Send it because I want to put this on the show, and you are appearing on Leading Our Own Way as we speak. But just. <laughs> Can you clarify to this? You, no one can see you now, so don't worry. But can you clarify on the mic to the people, the millions of viewers, that <laughs> Renee is correct on that pirate costume and it was very specific and you went for it on that costume. Just say it, please. Yeah. Can you see that, okay. Renee? The buckles, the buckles. <laughs> Did and you the... say that before she said it? Or, or not? I can't remember. Sword, though, that's what I see. So in the pirate costume, Wish... I can see you and you got the buckles and the sword. But this is me. We just... should have got you to say it before she said it. That's what we should have done. Nobody. But still, it doesn't matter. This is awesome. This is like <laughs> unbelievable. No, but I wished, I, I do now wish. Sword. I said the sword before she did. I said the she sword. Saw, she saw it before you said it, but obviously people listening probably would have been more powerful if we'd done it the other way around. But that's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the call, but if you can find it and send it to me, I'll check my phone afterwards. Is that all right? <laughs> I'll try, but all the wardrobe puppets I've got with photos. See what you can do, because this is powerful stuff, and then I can show it to the YouTube channel and Spotify. Thank you, Mum. I'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. <laughs> anyway, so my mum's just appeared on leaving our, or leading our own way. That's amazing. Brilliant. I can't wait to share this. This is insane. Anyway, carry on. Go on. We're going oh, more. I haven't even gotten started. This is the best. Okay. <clears throat> I've got all the stuff written here too, but I'm going to let myself channel and see. Get that picture again like I did with the pirate. <clears throat> Yeah, it was so clear even before I got on here with you. Close your eyes. <laughs> because the thing is with my eyes flickering, sometimes I'm like, I get a little self-conscious. I'm like, oh my God, is it scary? <laughs> no, I wasn't scared. It, it, it proved to me you were, you were doing something real. That's all. <laughs> Every time I've done readings with people, I'm like, can you please close your eyes? <laughs> well, there's millions of people watching it, so you can't tell them to close their eyes, can you? Right, close your eyes. <laughs> no, they can watch can watch because it's after the fact. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> okay. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna get back. Okay, I'm feeling it come back. Okay, I'm going to say it because it's coming up again. Uh -oh. It's like this smoke. It's like this room of smoke. But the thing is, I'm seeing this blue person come out. And the thing I want to say is Avatar. Avatar? Yeah. That's what I had written no, down. Okay, so we'll keep going so I can try and get mm -hmm. a full picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm seeing this like blue person walking towards me. Towards like, you or towards me? Towards me. Blue person. And they're like a, it's like a cartoon. Okay. Wait, I'll, um, you just take it in. I'm going to keep building the picture and see what it comes in. Okay. I'm seeing gum boots. <clears throat> so what I was doing what I felt with my hands was wrapping like a string, wrapping the fingers around the string and pulling it. Fingers around the string. Mm -hmm. on, on me? Just get the urge to want to wrap a string and pull it. How old am I? It's not clear. I'm seeing. So you just take it in. I'm just going to keep building the picture. Seeing a cinema. I'm seeing, okay, there's a lady in the cinema on her own. Okay, she's got kind of like brownie dark hair, but like gray at the top. And she kind of like looks like she's wearing half of it up or like she's got two sides pinned. She, let me ask. Okay, I'm seeing older lady. She's looks like she's got glasses, like kind of like squarey glasses, like one of those real old and fashioned square glasses. And like a floral blouse. Do you know my name? What's your name? Julie came to my night my mind. Julie. Julie. I don't know. Okay, I'm going up into the sky, looking up at the sky. Seeing like a Try and describe it. It's some kind of like, like bird. Like it's not a normal bird. It's like a <gasps> out of this world kind of bird. Like it's. Oh, I was about to. Oh, I was about to ask you. Could you name the movie with where there's an old woman at the cinema? And if I was young, there, there might be a connection there. And there might be a bird. When you said bird, that's when I just. That's when I just reacted. But then you said it was not on this, like an earth type. And then I was like, okay, maybe not then. So I was just seeing if that could activate something for you. That could be a connection. That could be. It, it definitely could be. Because... But the woman on their own, I don't, I'm not sure of. But there is a connection still. Okay. Um... It's like, it's like, I want to say parrot, but like it's a bigger parrot. Like it's not a little parrot. It's a big, like a griffin. Okay, so.
There's a basket, like a picnic basket. At the chocolate. cinema? Yep. Hmm. I don't remember that. Okay. I call my energy back. So what's the connection? Because sometimes um, I'll get... I'll get... Yeah, the, the, the only connection I've got to that is... Um, I, went, I remember going to, I don't know why this particular movie and going, I remember going into the other town with my grandma um, and uh, we went to see Robin Hood. Mm. Uh, and she was obviously old. She was mm -hmm. born when I was 60. So um, I won't say anything more than that, just in case it comes up later. But yeah, we went to the cinemas and watched Robin Hood. And when you said bird, that's where we acted. But then you then mess, said about the other like the outer bird, like a bigger mm. than like an earth bird. So that kind of went for me. But Robin Hood, I went to see with my grandma and I would never forget seeing that movie. I, I think about her all the time when I watch that particular movie, the, you know, the one with Kevin Cosner. Mm, okay. So that um, could Morgan be. Morgan Freeman. That could be the symbols for that. Mm. All right. Let's set an intention so I can direct what comes in or we can link it more because i always love to do like one where it's like okay whatever like a free free for all like what comes in let's go yeah what's your intention what do you what do you want to set an intention for question are you asking me there yeah mm -hmm. um i suppose i suppose the only thing that comes to me is outside of everything that else you've got right is i just I would just love to connect with my gran, I guess. Um, I, I did share the on the pre-chat about the cave and the dream that I had when I was 22. Mm. And um, I always asked her to come and see me, but I said, don't do it in a scary way. And I felt and I always believed that was the way she did it in a nice, safe way. And what I remember sitting in a cave with a puddle between us on the rocks. And um, But when I woke up, it, it felt so real. I... I but I had complete peace. It was amazing. Um, I was back in my bedroom, back in my house in England, but I woke up and it just, but during it, it felt so real. And then I woke up and it still felt that it was real, but then obviously it was like in the distance because I was back awake again, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's always the ones when you wake up and you're like, that feels real. They're the message. It's the yeah. message. Do you have anything in your head, like in your head? Do you have any pain in your head? No pain in my head. Okay, no pain in your head. I did the other day, but I don't now. Yeah, I'm just, I just, I've just got this dull prop here. It doesn't feel like it's mine. Because I can, like, I can tell sometimes. I wonder what that is then. What about your gran? Does she have anything with her brain? <clears throat> um, when I was in year three, um, I'm, I was just saying, I was just thinking about this the other day, actually, she, she did, she, and I can't remember if I spoke to my son about it because the cabs in England are big black cabs and they didn't have seat belts in the back at that point. And I remember in grade, when I was in year three, um, I, my, my teacher had to take me home. That's right. I was sharing the story with my son and, um, I had the Lego set up in my lounge room and um the teacher took me home but it was weird having the teacher in my house but the reason why she took me home was because my gran had been in a, a cra uh, like a bit of a taxi accident and she got flung around um the taxi because they're quite big in the back in the english taxi cabs uh, there's like fold down seats in front but the seats at the back didn't have seat belts, so she got flung around and um and I, and I she had arthritis but i'm sure she i can't remember but i'm sure she would have hit her head in at some point in that little moment uh, but nothing, I don't recall anything drastic. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's just see what comes up. Let's call her in. <clears throat> Set the intention to call in Andrew's grandmother. Bob.
Okay, I'm just going to explain this because I don't know. Okay. Seeing this lady here. She's, With you? Yeah. She's not that tall. How tall, oh, you think? I'm thinking below me. I'm 5'6". Yeah, she's definitely below you. And I'm getting, like, the hair is like, I'm getting hair like this, and I'm getting this nightgown, like, this, like those real old-fashioned nightgowns that have, like, the tie, and then they kind of just go straight down. And... Okay, I don't think actually that's, now I'm getting an Aboriginal woman's face. I don't know what this is, what's coming in here. She's definitely not Aboriginal. No, she's definitely not. I wonder if this is one of my gods. Oh, really? Maybe. Do you have anything with her ankles, her shins? I don't recall. Ankle. Shins. I'm seeing... Okay, hold on. I'm seeing, like, um, all these... All these cubicles, old and fashioned computers, typewriters. I'm seeing a perm. The lady with a perm. Some sort of journalism or law firm or accounting office admin. Okay, I call my energy back. I don't feel them coming in. I don't feel. I don't feel like I call Jean and Pam. The computers. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a gran, but mm. could be somebody else. Mm. Old yeah. computers kind of make sense, but not nothing to do with my gran. No. Mm. No, I don't feel them coming in. Um. Is there a chance she could come in later? Possibly. Possibly. I just know when Jean and Pam came in, it was very yeah. right there, whereas I feel like what it feels like is like like a probing, like it's like I'm trying, like prying feels like it's like the image, images can come through really clear for me, and then when they're really vague, it feels like I'm prying or like trying to get it. So... Mm. Call my well, let's not. We don't have to. We don't have to pry if you don't want to. If, you, if there is something else there that is clear, we could go down that road. Even if it's nothing to do, like last time, Gina and Pam are not directly to me. Is 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 there anything else that comes clear to you then? Yeah. Let's set. Let's set another intention and keep it vague. Maybe like an area of life, or something like that, and we'll see what come what comes in, like it did. So, you set an intention. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to think. Um, I mean, we uh, we we'll probably. I think later on we get into the future. Am I allowed to? 
Are we allowed to enter the life, my past life? Can past you? Life? Mm -hmm. As in, in this life, I mean, whether it's trauma, whether it's something that I've suffered with, which is pretty crystal clear, and that's publicly been made very clear, though. So maybe if you went into the, the deeper parts of that, which isn't online, you, that could we could touch base on that, or even just other stuff. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'll see what comes. I'll see what comes up. Anything in lineage, family. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting a chart. I'm getting a chart. <clears throat> I'm getting Getting you're looking for something. You're like patting like you're feeling the ground. Do you know how old I was? It's like a young teenager. Mm -hmm. Seeing a dog. Yeah. A golden dog. Do you know where the golden dog was or connected to? like outside mm -hmm. street i'm seeing okay i'm seeing like a street it's like a fence like sorry like fence is like steel okay. i'm seeing 
having a Henry, like a home, overgrown grass at the front. The lawns need to be mowed. There's like a um, concrete pathway all the way up. The home looks clean. What, oh, sorry? Like a creamy, yellowish color. I'm seeing my Arnie's house. Can you remember the names of the people that lived in the house? Hey. I'm getting Carol, but I'm thinking that's my Arnie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, my mum's Carol. Well, yeah, your mum's Carol, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing... Okay, I'm getting, like, Phil... Paul. Stop. Join us tomorrow to hear more from today's incredible guests and learn valuable insights to help you lead your own way. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you then.